What's up, Scorpio? It's Tina from Twinkle Star Tarot. I'm here to do your January 2020 Happy New Year um, general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say. First and foremost, thank you so much to everyone who uh, has visited my Etsy shop. You guys are amazing. I've been so just overwhelmed, like literally overwhelmed to get to know all of you, work with you, work for you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. For everybody, first 150 people that make an order this month because that's how many I have, you get a free sample of my road opener oil. This is what the big bottle looks like. It's um, got Aubrey Camino in it, which is a road opener plant. And what it is for magically is to remove obstacles and blockages from your life or from your path so that you can achieve what you're trying to manifest, okay? So again, first 150 orders, free sample. It's a cute little free sample, but it's cool and it works good, trust me. Um, so, and that's for product orders, orders, guys, if I'm mailing something to you, okay? So, um, not for people that are, you know, not for readings and spells or I'm not shipping something. But if I'm shipping something to you, I'll throw one of those in there for you. So, check it out. Link down below. All right, guys. Um, let's jump right in. Spirit guides, universe, guardian, angels, and ancestors. This reading is for the zodiac sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Okay, Scorpio, what is going on with my Scorpios? I'm trying to think about the Scorpios that I know. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Scorpio, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, if you're new and you don't know how I do my readings, hi, welcome, please subscribe. Um, I do a nine card spread. It's gonna be three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future, bazinga. Um, I also clarify, I do bottom of the deck card and I'm gonna do, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna do an extended reading for January because I don't have time. I'm so sorry, guys. I'll be more prepared next month. Um, but I will link your 2020 year ahead forecast um, for the entire year. It covers love, money, and just general advice and guidance uh, down below if you wanna check that out. It's on Vimeo. Okay. Some of you guys are moving or traveling. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and then your near future, we've got the Four of Cups, the Temperance Reverse, Sagittarius Energy too, and the Seven of Pentacles. What's at the bottom? Scorpio, some of you guys have a, have a hot little Pisces in your life too. But the High Priestess, she's intuitive, she's psychic. Some of you are dealing with a psychic or you're feeling very psychic yourself. Some of you are um, dealing with that Pisces, like I said. Um, she's the keeper of secrets, though, very importantly. So some of you have a big secret that you don't want anybody to know, or somebody told you a secret, or somebody you're dealing with has a secret, okay? Could be dealing with someone with the initials B, J, T, O, R, or A as well, okay? Okay, so Scorpio, Scorpio, recent past it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. You're coming out of Five of Cups energy, which is great. You're starting to get over a loss, okay? You're starting to get over something from the past. The cups had spilled. You were mourning something, okay? It didn't feel right, but the, it's reversed. So now you're starting to see that things are picking back up. Things are not going as bad as you as they were, or you you know you're not feeling as bad as you were really is the important thing here. And we have the Queen of Cups next, reversed. So she is, you know, she could be you, Scorpio, as a water sign, a Pisces, or a Cancer as well, or anybody that you're dealing with. Um, she's she's emotionally, she's kind of a mess, you know, emotionally. Not in a bad way, I'm not meaning it that way. She's not intentional, she's just, she doesn't feel good, you know? She feels like upset about something or distraught, okay? And next we have the King of Swords, the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you, it's a lawyer that you're dealing with or an attorney. Um, for some of you, it's about getting the truth, okay? So he takes that sword. He's the king of communication, first of all. So when he's in the upright, he's the truth. He's clarity, okay? Um, he also takes that sword and he cuts away, you know, anything that's not serving him. That's the way he gets to his throne. That's how he got to where he is, is that he wasn't afraid to cut away anything that wasn't serving him, serving his highest good, all right? So for some of you, you had to do that. Like you had to cut someone out or something out that it, it hurt, you know, it hurt you emotionally to do, but you had to do it in order to get to where you needed to be, right? Because it wasn't serving you. Present energy. 
We'll clarify. Pleasure, present energy, uh, the chariot, again, this is travel, this is movement, this is the zodiac sign of cancer. This is um, figuratively moving up, okay? It's forward positive movement because it's in the upright. For some of you, you're buying a new car or you're looking at buying a new car. I know I'm doing that, I'm trying, I'm looking, I'm thinking, okay? I'm not necessarily doing, but I'm thinking about it. Okay, so something like that. The star reversed, Aquarius energy, um, but it could also be, you know, it, the star's about healing. It's about wishes coming true, wishes being granted, and it's also about healing. So when we see it reversed like that, what, what do we have, right? The opposite. So we've got things that you're really wanting to manifest, that you have blockages. Hey, use my oil, check it out. Um, no, but seriously, you know, like you might have blockages to what you wanna manifest. You may need to become the king of swords for a little bit. One, or see a lawyer, okay? Two, um, it's about healing, and that means like you maybe, maybe you're moving forward, as best you can, but you haven't fully healed from the situation. The next thing we have is the Ace of Wands reverse. That's a passionate new beginning. It's a fresh start. It's an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. But when it's reversed like that, it's like we're, we're having trouble getting up the, the gusto, the, the oomph, the energy to, you know, to have this passionate new beginning. All right, for some of you guys, you had to cut somebody out because it was just a physical relationship. I think a lot of signs have gotten this exact card, okay? Or it just, it wasn't going, it wasn't growing past a physical relationship. Maybe you want it more. You know, you want the, the commitment, the marriage, the family, and they just wanted, you know, some, some action. And you're like, no, you know, could have been vice versa too, okay? Near future for Scorpio, four of cups. Um... You've got, you know, this is kind of like refusing an offer because it's not good enough. He's like, nah, dude, nah, I have three full cups. See, one, two, three, sorry, my finger's blocking. He's got three full cups and this little gray cloud is trying to offer him a cup and he's like, I'm, I'm good. Look at his arms, he's like, no. <laughs> so, I mean, you could be rejecting an offer because it's coming from a gray cloud. You're just like, I don't, this isn't, no. You know, I don't want it. It could be an offer of reconciliation. It could be just anything. But, you know, you need to, it's not meeting your standards, Scorpio, and that's a good thing. You know, you need to keep your standards high. Temperance reverse. Somebody losing their temper or their patience. Also Sagittarius reversed, okay? Um, so that's what that means. It's another card of healing, though. So you have two healing cards, both reversed now. So Scorpio, I think the main message here for a lot of you guys is that you're trying really hard to push yourself to move forward as fast as you can so that you can get out of this situation. But you need to give yourselves time to heal. You need to really be good to yourselves this month, you know, because a lot of you just haven't healed yet, you know, and it's it's been tough. And then we've got the Seven of Pentacles. All of this is gonna manifest for you in good time, okay? You planted those seeds of intention a long time ago with the Seven of Pents. It's just that he's, you know, he's waiting. It's a waiting game now, Scorpio. He's waiting and waiting and waiting for them to get ripe so that he can harvest them. All right, let's um, clarify some of these cards. All right, Five of Cups reversed, the Nine of Wands. So again, getting over the sadness, but still feeling like you have your guard up or feeling very defensive towards something or someone. Queen of Cups reversed, this is about an ending, right? The Ten of Swords, this is a betrayal, a painful ending, backstabbing, you know, feeling disgusted, just feeling really hurt over something. King of Swords, upright also the lovers reverse so it could be a romantic relationship breaking up okay that that's what could have hurt you in the past could be a gemini could also be um you know a choice or decision that you had to reluctantly make that that ended up hurting you all right the chariot the page of wands remember that fire sign i was talking about that that aries leo sagittarius you could be getting news or a message communication from a fire sign about travel. Somebody could be inviting you to go on a trip. It could be that you hear, uh, you're telling someone that you're, you've moved on or you're moving on, okay? Again, we've got the Cancer energy too. Um, it is about communication though, and typically it's in the upright, so it's good news, you know, and it's passionate, whatever it is. Let's see, the star reversed, the hermit, Virgo. Okay, so um, you could be keeping a secret. The, the hermit, to me, he's very secretive, right? He hides out in the hermit cave. He's just, 
he lurks. He lurks in the background. He doesn't really comment. He doesn't really make himself known unless he has to. Some of you are seeing the light about an Aquarius. Some of you are, you know, hiding the fact that you haven't healed. Maybe, um, you know, on social media or to the world, you are putting on a show or putting on a facade that you are fine and you're great and you're powerful and you're strong and you, you don't even remember that person's name, you know, but on the inside, you're really hurting and you're trying to keep that a secret. Ace of Wands reverse, the Emperor reverse. This could have been about your twin, okay? It could have also been, or, you know, the Divine Masculine. Um, it could have been about an Aries or, you know, a, a male, a masculine. I don't, I don't want to say male, but masculine person or energy in your life. You could have been dealing with someone who was controlling or narcissistic, you know? Um, a lot of different things there. All right, Four of Cups, Scorpio. Ace of coin. So again, you're getting an offer. They want to commit to you. They want to give you the job. They want to give you the raise. It could be that your boss is a total asshat, but they offer you, you know, you're going to, you're going to make a lot of money if you work here and you're like, nah, dog, I'm good. I have enough saved till I can get me a new job because I can't work for this person anymore. Could be that, you know, this person in your life is very, you know, controlling and they hurt you and they, they say things to you that are terrible, but they, they pay your bills. So you have to kind of weigh, you know, what you're going to do there, but you're starting to see that, you know, paying the bills ain't enough. You need to, you know what I mean? Like you want more out of life than what this person has to offer because they are offering you something real, but you're not accepting it, you know? Uh, temperance reversed. A Ten of Pentacles reversed. A family situation. This is about, you know, the, the, the spouse, the kids, the house, the grandma, all of it, okay? Sometimes this is money. Um, you know, it could be that, you know, you haven't healed financially from like a marriage that broke up with the lover's reverse, something like that. Or, you know, a job, it could be a job too. Um, you could be feeling like you're just, you don't have stability anymore um, and you haven't healed from that, okay? Like I said, loss of family, loss of job, loss of money, something along those lines. Seven of coin and the strength card reverse, Leo energy. Um, you may feel like you're going at it alone, Scorpio. You may have had a partner originally, whether it was romantic or not. Business partner, you know, something like that. And they left you high and dry. And that's okay, because you're still manifesting what you want to manifest. It's just a matter of time until it comes to you, okay? So even if you got dropped on your butt and you got left, you know, left out there to the wolves, don't worry about it. You're still, you're still going to get what you are putting the effort towards. Okay. All right, Scorpio. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful month of January and I will talk to you soon. Take good care of yourselves. Be nice to yourselves. Okay. Seriously. You need to heal. Okay, baby. I see you. I love you. Bye.